In November 2014, the Renewable Energy Association of Myanmar, with support from Visions and generous others, hosted a practice to policy workshop to inspire Myanmar's policymakers, small power producers, rural development actors, and civil society groups to take a closer look at successfully scaled micro and mini hydro programs in Indonesia, Nepal, and Sri Lanka in order to develop appropriate efforts to leverage micro and mini hydro for rural Myanmar. The workshop took place in Yangon and Shan State from November 24th to the 28th, 2014. On day one, following introductions of the Myanmar energy scenario, experts from Indonesia, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and the United States gave well-prepared presentations on the following aspects of scaled and sustainable microhydro programs. Success factors, technology delivery, financing and policy mechanisms, and energy and empowerment. Day two started with presentations by local micro and mini hydro practitioners from Shan State on their achievements, challenges, and opportunities. Most of the day focused on facilitating interactive group discussions using open space technology that allowed participants to converge on topics of their interests. Days three and four were spent in Shan State visiting a village micro hydro site and community and rural local fabrication workshop facilities with synthesizing group dialogues in the evenings. Day 5 started with an overview of the week and remaining presentations. Most of the day focused on developing a vision, recommendations, and expressions of support to leverage micro and mini hydro for empowering off-grid electrification systems. The week resulted in key findings from the presentations of domestic Myanmar and international actors, interactive group dialogue before, after, and during the field visits, and visiting a Shan State site, community, and fabrication facilities. These key findings are summarized as follows. Myanmar policymakers and the Sustainable Energy for All initiative consider decentralized renewable energy as a viable component of electrification in rural Myanmar. Hindsight lessons from the decades of work of scaled and sustainable microhydro programs in Indonesia, Nepal, and Sri Lanka can be applied to the micro and mini hydro scenario of Myanmar. The lessons focus on the elements of capacity building, policy, and finance for the areas of technology delivery, project sustainability, community productive use, and grid connectivity. Local Myanmar practitioners have innovatively built, commissioned, and sustained hundreds of community-based projects under conditions that are quite difficult, such as self-financing and limited technology access. The international experts found the local Myanmar efforts to be impressive and also deserving of targeted capacity building and financing to improve output, grid connectivity, and ultimately the end user experience. The week's dialogues between Myanmar actors and international actors evolved into expressions of support and recommendations for these overarching issues. Targeted and three-pronged capacity building. One, technical training for improved technology delivery. Two, financing mechanisms to make improved technology practical, and three, policy rollout for grid connectivity. Leveraging community-based micro and mini hydro electrification to give voice and livelihood sustainability to Myanmar's rural ethnic communities. development of a multi-actor approach, including government, private sector, civil society, NGOs, international financing institutions, and regional microhydro experts for the above goals. <laughs>